Hey guys, Chris here again. Uh, it's been a while, I've been super busy. Got lots of cool guitar stuff going on. So first off, uh, I added some new shirts. They're really cool and I put a coupon for as much as Teespring would let me do. I think it's like eight bucks off or something like that. So the shirts are as cheap as they get. So go check one out if you want multiple cool shirts. I think there's like four or five designs now and they're, they're sweet. So go take a look at that. Um, you may have seen the Sir Carve Top that I bought a couple weeks ago. I posted it on Instagram. It just didn't really work out for me. Um, I I don't know. It, sometimes you get something and it's just not what you thought it was. Or Basically, after selling my Sir Modern, I wanted something that was like the ultimate Sir. And the carve top, for some reason, just the shape was weird. It was really heavy. It was kind of, it was just too orange for me. So I, I sold it immediately. I'm not going to review it. Uh, it was felt and played like a sir sounded exactly the same as the sir modern which sounded pretty good and it was an awesome guitar but i just didn't really want to bother with it so we're going to skip that one also uh, i don't know if you've noticed they've been giving gibsons away on musician's friend the last i don't know couple weeks but uh the last at least two or three days they've had sgs Thunderbirds, Les Pauls. I think that might be it. There's, I think one SG was a satin and one was something else. But anyway, so they're like half off. So if you're trying to buy a 2018 Gibson of some sort, uh, keep an eye on Musician's Friend because they're pretty much the cheapest they're going to probably ever be. So check that out. And... Uh, bought that Friedman Vintage S. Uh, that thing, it's, yeah, it's good. We'll we'll get to that later, but uh, it's 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 pretty much what you'd expect. It's incredible. So last night, uh, somebody posted a RG Japanese Prestige for seventy five dollars. So <laughs> uh, I bought it. We'll, we'll see if that shows up. Let me, uh, I'll show you. So yeah, here it is. Uh, it's possible it was a typo. It's possible they are crazy, but um, we'll give that a shot. I mean, it's kind of that cool finish. I mean, it looks pretty cool. I think Reverb has, has your back, so hopefully, um, Maybe they'll ship it. It's like a one in 50 chance, but otherwise, whatever, Reverb will give me a refund or something. So that should be cool. Um, and then let's see what else is going on. We have, as usual, the world's second cheapest Japanese prestige. <laughs> now that that RG is the first cheapest, but this AX, this thing's always cheap and it's because it's got this like weird <laughs> faux leather cover, so. Not super interested in this. This Vigier is cool, but that price makes me think it's foreign. Yeah. Italy. Meh. Yeah. Uh, there's a couple cheap Solars. We'll see if they're still on here uh, with Evertune, which you gotta get an Evertune if you're buying a Solar, so. Let's see. Uh, I feel like this nags. I don't know if it's the same one, but this like Coca Bolo filled turquoise thing is always for sale on here. And they seem to sit a long time, so I don't know about that guitar. This might not be a real good purchase. <laughs> um, a couple. Uh, it's a pretty top on that Kiesel 1900, though. Uh, I recognize this. This is somebody I know's guitar. Go check that one out if you're, uh, let's take a look. Custom 22, 
I like the headstock on that one. I wish mine didn't have a matching uh, headstock. Looks clean. Let's see if he says what it weighs. I think this one's on the lighter side, which is nice. Yeah, that's pretty cool. Anyways, if you're in the market for custom 22, <laughs> this King Crimson PRS is so nasty. I mean, who, that, I guess there's one buyer out there, but come on. That's horrible. <laughs> oh, nine and a half, nine and a quarter pound. That's horrible. Man, they're making a thousand of them. I feel like that's pretty optimistic. <laughs> I would have started with a hundred. Uh, good luck, guys. Uh, so it's HP. SGs, they're, they're cheaper new right now. Uh, Guitar Center has limited colors, but uh, $13.99 is how much a 2018 SG HP is brand, brand new. So, pretty, pretty crazy. Uh, whoa, $15,000. All right, let's, let's do it. Uh, I mean, it's a very pretty top. Oh, <laughs> the back too. Okay. Wow. That's look at the detail. I think it's incredible, right? It it is, but. $15,000? And I gotta be honest, the dolphin thing seems really lame. <laughs> I gotta get the dolphins off of that thing. If you put dolphins on your guitar, I think that that cuts off five grand. So this guitar is now worth nine grand. Oh, that is brutal though. It's, it's I mean, it's stunning, but God, that's a lot of money. So I, I looked at this earlier. Uh, the more we know about Andy Wood, uh, I did not know he had another Sur model. And I initially thought, oh, this guy just mislabeled it. But um, it is, in fact, an Andy Wood. Let's see. Yeah, look at this. It's cool. So we had a, a Sir Modern signature before the Tele. Let's see what year it is. Does it say 2011? So very cool. A um, couple cool ESPs. Nothing. Nothing incredible. Uh, we watched a Rev Star last episode, and it dropped to a thousand, and that's that's really tempting. It's a Japanese one. Looks pretty sweet, but. Uh, there's just something about it that I just don't think I'm gonna play it. Another $13.99 for the Mojave color. It's pretty cool. I mean, these are okay. Yeah, still, still. Yeah, both of them are still here. So here's there's an E-type solar and a, a kind of straight up one. Both have Evertunes. Both are like eight or nine hundred bucks. I think eight hundred. That's pretty good for one of those. Uh, maybe the guy'd take a couple bucks off of that, and that's about as low as they're gonna get. And you're gonna get a cool guitar with an Evertune. So, if if you're curious, I would I would check that out. Um, what else do we have? We got. Oh man, so this reminds me. Uh, somebody on my Parker video said, "Hey, you said Ken Parker doesn't make guitars anymore. He does, and they're right." And oh damn, uh, he makes very, very boutique jazz like arch tops now. They're thirty thousand dollars, thirty thousand. So look them up. I 
I bet there's not one on reverb. Let's find out. Huh. This one's actually older. Um, 1991. So he's been at it longer than I thought. Maybe I, I think I had heard that's what he started with, and then he transitioned into the electrics. But he's, he's back to those. Let me look at his website real quick. Yeah, here we go. So uh, he's still at it. Still just absolutely killing it with, oh, <laughs> look at that. Wow. Like, look what's going on right here. It's incredible. God. He's a madman. Uh, so yeah, 30 grand though. <laughs> it's not, it's not going to work. I think this is like a Iron Maiden. Yeah. Iron Maiden owned ESP. <laughs> the Phoenix. It's kind of fun. So I'm on the hunt for like the perfect Sir Modern. I'm in no rush to get another one because I'm, I'm plenty happy with my standard, but I think the perfect one would be kind of similar specs to what I have, but really lightweight and maybe a little more exciting top on there. I, I don't really know. I used to really like, you know, quilt, more flame the better. Eh, I'm kind of headed towards wanting sim simpler wooden guitars, but never know we can, we can keep looking um there the, oh so do you remember that joker colored aristides that was like green green it, it wasn't the one that said haha -ha on it but it just had the aristides logo on it in purple on green that dropped to 2500 i emailed the guy asked him how much it weighed and the second he responded he he said let me find out for you and then he responded immediately, it just sold. So at 2,500, even an ugly Aristides 060 sells in minutes. So I missed that one, unfortunately. The thing I didn't know is he said it's pretty heavy. And one of you guys left me a comment saying, yo, I have one of those, it's 10 pounds. So are they all that heavy? I had no idea. I picked one up at NAM. I thought, oh, it's not light, but I didn't think it was 10 pounds. I mean, 10 pounds is way up there so if you have one and it's super heavy uh, let me know I thought this ESP was really cool because it's like brushed metal or something I mean that's a cool finish I don't I, I would assume that's just a paint technique and not like a bent piece of metal but yeah I think it is but Pretty cool, pretty cool. Those ESPs, man, they're sharp. <laughs> all the all the ESP like custom shop stuff is always just it blows my mind. Uh, looked at so many of of these like Sir Moderns and all the ones with fancy tops. I mean, this one has a Floyd, but they just, they're either heavy or expensive. I'll wait them out. I'll find the perfect one. It might take a year, but who cares? So these Strandbergs seem fairly priced. I don't know. Uh, maybe the market's cooled off a little for those, but there's a metal for 18 and a, a Bowden for 15. I mean, this one says good, so maybe it's a little dinged up, but I'm not dying to get another one of those, but I'd happily buy another. Oh, it's still for sale. I thought it sold. Let's check it out. That's very cheap. I mean, this has got to be a great purchase. I, I picked one of these up and I, I liked it. So, thousand bucks, Japanese, Yamaha. I noticed when I, when I was, had it in my hand, it just felt really sturdy and nicely made like all the hardware was really high quality and 
five offers. So yeah, this guy's not not coming down from that press, I don't think. But I mean, it's tempting. That's that's got to be near rock bottom for for that sort of thing. This Fano is really strange. Let's check that out. Good deal on a Parker. So, <laughs> Retrosphere. I am not sure what's going on here. It's definitely not wood. Well, maybe the neck is wood and the body is... It looks like a sandwich of like, I don't know, metal or lucite and then whatever that top thing is. Let's see. Acrylic frame. Tone skin. Man. Aluminum. So is it tone skin or aluminum? I really don't know what's going on. Uh, rosewood maple. So it's a regular neck, acrylic body, and aluminum front and back. See what it weighs? No. Probably heavy. Kind of weird. I don't know. Eh, this is that's a good deal. Let's look at the dumb arms B you guys keep telling me to buy. <laughs> I don't really want one. I kept waiting for somebody to give up on the silver sky thing and just drop it to like fourteen hundred, but I haven't seen one yet, so. Good on you, Silver Sky sellers. You're, you're really holding out. <laughs> There's like a million of them for sale, none of them are selling, but nobody is willing to really take a bad price. So if you're out there, hit me up. <laughs> I, got a, I got a terrible price for you and I'll happily buy your, your Silver Sky. It's a Friedman Vintage S for 2000 bucks. That's a solid, solid deal. Red, but still, come on. What do you want? Can't have it all. Look at all these silver skies. Come on. This is cool. Uh, oh wait, so let's look at let's, this arms be. So a thousand bucks, that's, that's pretty cheap for one of these. I really hate the like cross-eyed pickups thing. <laughs> it's always bugged me, but I guess if it's multi-scale, it's got to be like that sometimes. What I'd be curious to know is I've seen multi-scales where the pickups are slanted like that, like this, or in this case, it's like this. What's the difference? What? Why would you opt for this over this? I feel like it looks horrible. I guess the benefit here is you get a bunch of wacky frets at the end. How many frets is this thing? Looks like a lot. I mean, that just does not look like a guitar I want at all. But maybe for a grand, it's worth checking out. Um, I'm just, eh, I don't care. Orange Beast just not doing it for me. They have a bunch of different finishes, but the, the ones that appeal to me don't seem to really ever go on sale, so. We will keep looking. This is expensive, but beautiful piece of, uh, what is this called? Is this Pale Moon? Man. Yeah, Pale Moon and Sky. 20 inch radius. Yeah. I think that Pale Moon top is a very expensive add on there, but pretty cool. Pretty cool. I like, I like the look of it for sure. Still haven't seen any Soviet guitars worth clicking on. They're all just garbage and they've been destroyed, so it's not looking good. Oh, man. <laughs> One of you guys uh, told me to check out this brand, Gary Kramer. These are, <laughs> these are hilarious. 
I've seen them way cheaper than this too. So, I mean, how many frets is that? Is it 36? Okay, great. Just what I needed, a 36 fret guitar in the weirdest shape possible. Oh, it's pretty nasty. All right, and lastly, I'm gonna look at my watch list real quick because there was a very, very nice Sir that just dropped that I wanted to show you guys, but it appears to be gone. Yeah, it's gone. <laughs> oh well. This check ended. That's where they all end up. Oh, this bowling ball drip was really cool. Um, it's Pete Thorne sold like right away, which is sad. Well, I can't find it, but let's, uh, yeah. So this had a Floyd, so that's a no, but I thought this was a really cool swirl job. Just super, super neat. And priced hmm, decently fairly. I mean, that's that's not horrible, but it's not the perfect serve for me. So I will keep looking. I want something very, very just perfect. Uh, maybe I just have to cost more to one, and I'll wait. So I guess that's it today. We saw lots of cool stuff. Um, but yeah, check out the t-shirts if you want. Uh, I got lots of guitars coming up. We got uh, the Friedman Vintage S, the ESP I bought last time finally showed up, and maybe some other stuff uh, on the way. So I guess that's it this time, and I will see you guys next time.